Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com and Manchester Wine School. Uh, now I've got a couple of Southern French white wines here from a company called Calmel et Joseph um, and they are in the Languedoc in Southern France. And uh, the first one I've got is one called, uh, made from a grape called Terrette, which is, which appears in different vineyards throughout Southern France, but it's not madly widely planted. But here's a rare example of it appearing, uh, rather than being as part of a blend, uh, being a solo performer. Let's give it a whirl. I smell it and it's not, there's not all that much jumping out of the glass here. Um, it smells, but it smells like it's going to be fresh, ever so slight pine hint in there, a uh, bit of citrus fruit, uh, but um, it smells like it's going to be clean, fresh, maybe not the most complex of wine, but maybe nice and refreshing. Let's just dig in and see. What's intriguing there is that it's got those uh, fresh pine citrus characters which persist when you come to taste it. But there's also quite a bit of, um, well, the French word is matière, the Australian word is grunt. Um, it's, a, it's a wine that uh, has it's got its, its freshness, but it's still quite a weighty wine. And one of those that's almost quite, I would say probably a slightly dangerous wine, uh, in that um, there's more to it than first meets the eye. And you sort of keep going back to it and going, oh, I'll have a bit more of that, I'll have a bit more of that. And, uh, um, and um, yeah, as it comes out of its shell, you find yourself going back for more and more and more and more and um, yeah, I can't go for more and more because uh, I've got to do another wine. And the next wine uh, is uh, another wine from these same guys. Um, so it says Saint Chignon uh, Les Cru. So Cru means, I don't know, it doesn't really translate all that well into English, growths or vineyards, whatever it is. Uh, but it's Saint Chignon Les Cru uh, 2018. So the grapes that are in here uh, are uh, Grenache Blanc. Uh, Vermentino, Viognier, Roussan, I can't remember what order they're, they're in, but those are, those are the four main ones. And uh, I come to smell it, and um, there's a hint of vanilla here. I don't know whether it's been near an oak barrel, uh, but there is something almost pear-like. Um, and uh, it feels like that, that there is going to be a... It feels like it's going to be quite rich. Um, but uh, anyway, let's, let's have a taste of it and see. And again, you get into that slightly dangerous territory here where um, the, your first impressions, those first smells, maybe don't give uh, away the full impression of the wine. So yes, there are those, there are those vanilla um, notes, the, the pear, maybe a little bit of peach in there. But when it comes to the actual structure of the wine, I think this is probably things like the Vermentino and the Roussin giving the slightly weightier Viognier and uh, Grenache Blanc a little bit of gravitas. Um, you, it ends up being one of those that um, sometimes I describe wines like this as being um, broad-shouldered, narrow-waisted, and uh, yeah, it's it, it's toned, and uh, it's one of those wines that keeps me well, I'm coming back for more. So I'm going to go back for more. Yeah, pretty classy wine that, and um, I like them both. Um, and I maybe maybe once your midweek wine, maybe once the the weekend wine, but they're uh, they're both a pretty good advert for Languedoc whites. Well done, Calmel et Joseph. See you soon.